consequences. That is a buzzword in education right now. You talk to anybody about some of the major issues within the classroom and nine times out of 10, somebody is going to talk about the fact that kids don't have real consequences lately. Why is that? I'm gonna give you my hot take on it and maybe you'll agree. Over the last decade or so, we have really put a huge push on making sure that kids feel loved, kids feel safe, kids feel wanted inside of their classrooms on how important it is to build relationships with kids and the data shows that it's true. Kids learn better when that alarm system of their brain is able to shut off. Y'all know I agree with this and y'all know that I highly advocate for making sure that your kids feel safe and loved and taken care of. But I am also a big advocate for making sure that kids understand the consequences of their actions. I get lots of emails and DMs with people reaching out and asking for advice on certain things. And a lot of times they're talking about how they wanna build relationships with the kids in their class, but they don't wanna upset them. It's okay for kids to feel that discomfort of guilt, especially because they're going to learn from it. Teaching them a little healthy guilt allows their brains to process the difference between right and wrong. And with the right consequences, they can actually learn from it. You can love them so much and still allow them to feel a little discomfort. Kids value structure more than you think. The three C's of classroom management are consistency, compassion, and connection. And with that consistency, sometimes also comes consequences. But they value the fact that you care enough about them to help them grow from their mistakes and turn them into better people. Next, we're gonna talk about what happens when we don't allow kids to feel discomfort. Stick around.